My mom is my superhero, and to see her laid out like this, half of her face is drooping and half of her head is shaved. You know, my big, strong, awesome mom is now frail and swollen. It was insanity. Jessie Buttafuoco was just nine years old when her mom, Mary Jo, was shot in the face. I looked at this nurse and she was yelling at me, Mary Jo, Mary Jo, you've been shot. That bullet had gone in, broke the jaw, severed the carotid artery. For whatever reason, that bullet wound up at the base of her brain above her spinal column. Mary Jo survived, but the family's nightmare was just about to begin. Attorney Allison Treasel remembers the case well. In the 1990s, this is one of the biggest media circuses we all had ever seen. This was a case of underage sex, an affair, a shooting in the face. It was all over the news. It was in the print media. Joey Buttafuoco was giving interviews to every news outlet he could get his hands on. I remember getting home from the hospital, reporters coming out of the woodwork. Amy Fisher was charged with first degree attempted murder at the time of her affair with Joey. He was 36, she was 16. Amy soon became known as the Long Island Lolita. She spent seven years in jail and Joey did time too after pleading guilty to statutory rape. Well, the first time my dad went to jail, it was pretty surreal. What sticks out the most now is, and it makes me kind of sad, I drew a lot of pictures. I colored a lot of coloring books so he can post them on his wall, you know, and that's just messed up. That's a messed up exchange between a father and daughter to have to do. Joey and Mary Jo eventually divorced. As for Jesse, she began using cocaine, became an alcoholic, and also suffered from eating disorders. She didn't talk to her father for a year. My Jesse. <sighs> That little angel, she has suffered a lot watching this, this debacle that has gone on between her mother and her father all these years. Jessie now says she's on pretty good terms with her dad. She now produces children's theater, but nearly 30 years after these events, she's still haunted by what happened. The real me inside is hurting, is in pain, and is just trying to figure out life.